Several things are special about the Bambino Magnifico. I haven't had a diaper from this brand in a practical test for a while. The last one was the Bambino Cloudy over a year ago in summer 2023. Compared to that and some other diapers, the Magnifico does even more differently, which we look at together in this video. Plus, of course, the results of the practical test, in which it has to prove itself in everyday life. The diaper comes in inconspicuous white packaging. This is typical for the manufacturer, who also uses it for other products. It is also known for its unusually small pack size. All the ones I have had from this brand have only contained 8 pieces, others have 10 to 12. The diaper is printed with bright colors on the entire surface up to the back of the bottom. The popular foil is used as the outer material. It already feels very soft when unpacking and differs from the previous tests. There is no blue absorbent core on the inside. But there is the usual high leakage protection on the sides of ABDL diapers, which also offers space for boosters for reinforcement. Bambino states the theoretical absorption capacity is 5 liters, the type of test is unknown. The adhesives are noticeable when you put them on. Bambino has not stuck strictly to one type like Tykables, for example, but uses plastic and Velcro. The special thing is not that it is Velcro, but what it is. The side parts are flexible, just like the adhesives. Both can be stretched a good bit by pulling. Normally, ABDL diapers have side parts made of foil with the adhesives attached to the front. The side parts are fixed. The only room for maneuver is therefore the space on the adhesive surface at the front from the middle to the end of the sides. If it fits there, you can of course glue the diaper a little tighter. But the sides do not go with it, as is the case with children's diapers. The Bambino Magnifico, on the other hand, works in a similar way to these children's diapers. It has to be said that Pampers has slowed down quite a bit. A few years ago, their diapers could be stretched much more than is the case today. This meant that they also fitted some bedwetters, especially teenagers, or even adults with a slim build. This is still possible, but not as much as it used to be. They probably want to save on materials, as older diaper wearers are not the company's target group anyway. But the principle is the same with the Magnifico. It takes some getting used to, it doesn't feel as tight when the adhesives are in a normal position at the front, as you would expect from other diapers. They can also be made tighter by stretching them. If they are too tight, they no longer feel good and the fit suffers. It takes a bit of practice to find a comfortable fit that is also stable. Then it feels good. The material of the film is pleasant on the skin. Because it is so soft, the diaper also adapts perfectly to the body. However, the adhesives sometimes start to come loose when worn for long periods. I have had some that were only half stuck, especially the lower ones. I'm sure this is also due to movement, but I haven't had it this bad with other diapers. Visually, as always, it's a matter of taste. On the positive side, the prints are bold. How is the suction power? I tried out a pack in everyday life. At 234 grams, the empty diaper is surprisingly heavy. It felt lighter, I would have estimated a maximum of 200. The feel is good, but it feels less thick, although the bottom is well wrapped. I suspect this is due to the slim side panels. They are smaller than on other ABDL diapers. The surface area does increase when stretched. But the material doesn't get any thicker, so they look thinner. I didn't find it bad at first, but different and unusual. Initially, the results of the practical test were conspicuously poor, probably because the adhesive was too loose. Once I had improved this, I was able to fit more in before the diaper started to leak. Nevertheless, at 1.7 kilograms, the heaviest diaper didn't even reach the average weight. We haven't had one that light for a while. The last one was the Fabamonti Fabicare from Germany, which at 1.6 kilograms was even lighter. It was a similar story with the Abu Kiddo, which only just exceeded 1.6 kilogram. This does not necessarily have to be a knockout criterion. Some people can only wear diapers for a few hours, for example, so a low suction power may be sufficient. Others like to change more frequently. I therefore find the price important, which should be correspondingly low. This comes as a double shock. At €25.86, the pack is already on a par with other diapers. But with one difference, Bambino only contains 8 pieces, not 10 or 12. A single one costs a whopping €3.23. This puts it in 10th place among the most expensive diapers and at the same time at the bottom of the list in terms of absorbency. I don't think that's a particularly good combination. 
There are so many diapers that last longer and cost less. Little Rascals V2, Rears Alpaca and Safari, Kiddo Lil Soaker to name just a few. The adhesives with stretchable sides are an interesting experiment that is probably unique. At least I haven't seen any other ABDL diaper with such a construction. This could be a good solution for those who sweat too much under the foil in summer. As the side panels are flexible, they are not made of plastic but of some kind of fabric. So they can at least absorb sweat. You still don't have to do without foil diapers because everything except the side panels is made of foil. But as the absorbency was disappointing, I think the price is far too high. Bambino always gives me shrinkflation vibes too. The pure pack price doesn't seem so hefty until you realize there are only 8 inside. It smacks of trying to hide the high price. What's your opinion of the Magnifico? Write it here in the comments and stay dry until the next video.